Yo, for real? I don't think I've ever even gotten off to a 14 0 start in the Madden season. You walk into the NFL like it's no big deal. Start your rookie year at 14 0. Come on, man. Hey, it ain't just me. This is just a special team, man. Nah, man, that's an understatement. Four teams in NFL history have started season 14 0. Now you one of them. That's the definition of special. We still got work to do. Only one of those three teams have finished the job. And none of this matters if we ain't holding that Lombardi trophy on Super Bowl Sunday. Tennessee this week. Jags on the road. Take on the Titans. Next to work. Down three zip. Back to throw. I just tied in Farrell. Yes, sir. First down. He's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. These two teams, they met earlier in the year in Jacksonville with the Jags coming out on top. So a win here in Nashville would give them the season series. Stewart Back sets to throw. to throw. Steps away to his left. Goes to Jones. Yes, sir. Marvin Jones. Marvin Jones with the catch. Out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 25 yards that time. And CD, defensively, you're going against a hot quarterback coming off a three touchdown game of their victory a week ago. But what's the big key for them to turn the ground with J Rob? You ask all the tough questions, don't you, partner? Because with this guy, if you blitz him, he takes advantage of that man coverage and burns you. But if you bring on those extra DBs, he sits back there and does what he wants. To me, it's going to be those DBs. When they catch the ball, big time tackles really put it on those receivers. Stewart. Stewart. A... Oh, what a spin by J Rob. Can he get to pay dirt? J Rob, yes, sir. Touchdown. James Robinson, his 25th touchdown. Tying him at Smith for the fifth most in one season. And the Jags have Check out this spin move. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles. You're on the road. Sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to. I spin J Rob. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago. And he does a nice job here. J. Rob the goes to the outside. He's got a first. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. A lot of running backs, a little bit of a disadvantage when you start talking MVP. Might not be the case this year. You think he's got a shot, don't you? I do. I think he's got more than a shot. But what he's going to need here down the stretch, this late in the season, he's back to throw. And he's that big closing game. That guy's tied in. Oh, my goodness. Did he put up a number? First down. 200 plus. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49 25 yards there on the catch and run what a dimension this man brings to this defense he had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle he really flew to the football and that is a situation where in a defender's mind you just have to pick a point on the football field and think to yourself i'm going to sprint full out and meet Back him to throw that point. sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but he had to play diagnosed perfectly take it himself finding room inside the 40 Big game by Stewart. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Get on the ground with J. Rob. It's Robinson. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. 
No gain on the play there. Second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. Wide open. That's good recognition on that play to hold them to no game. First and goal and the at the five. are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. First and goal. And J-Rob on the ground. Touchdown, Jags. Take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. James Robinson has helped him out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the back to throw. follow through with points on their first possession. And that's a big one for them because... He's got a lot of time. He's going to take it himself. ...chance here to open up this lead. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure. Good coverage downfield. And then he slips out the back door and turns it into Jay a Rob nice gets game. the call. Still going. He's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. The partner of this offense, 12-0 now on the year following their latest victory. And during the week, a lot of folks making comparisons between this Second squad two. and the 1985 Bears. You know, they That's too the were screen to J -Rob. The, the season before losing on a Monday night, 38-24 to the Dolphins at the Orange Bowl way back on December 2nd of 85. But then they'd never lose again en route to winning Super Bowl 20. And when you look back on it, partner, didn't it almost feel like a setup game? because they were playing the Dolphins, and the Dolphins were protecting their franchise's undefeated Stewart. season of 1972, to that team. And you know what that team does. They love to celebrate the fact that they still are I just tied in Farrell at the last He's second. Back. That was Dan Marino's third year, playing under the great Don Shula, and they were motivated to keep that franchise's record intact. Second and 11. Well, also one actually on that pass. Here's Stewart to throw it. And that's complete ETN out of the back. ETN. Trying to go for the first. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those Stewart. tackles and go back to pass. Back. We saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Got his man. It's the veteran Landry. Landry takes it inside the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And a three. And not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL. On EA Sports. the gun, Stewart. Back to Back throw. To throw. Again. Watch his man. That'll bring up second and goal. Stewart's 15 of 15. He has not missed a pass yet. Or thrown an incomplete. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync. Stewart, stayed back in to throw. Communication. And as he dragged across each zone. Got to the end zone, touchdown. touchdown. Touchdown, Jaguars. Carter Landry here as we welcome him seven. back. They've got a third down now as they look for back to throw. first down to help salt this one away. Buying to Jones. Left. Nice spin move. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Here we go. Here and we now go. with 152 to go. go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Rob gets caught in the backfield. Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Again, it's Robinson. Good Rob. Here he'll get it down to the seven. 
Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Got an extra defensive back out there for the third Titans five. now here for third down. Back to, back to throw. Stewart being chased out left. He'll take it by himself, Stewart. And touchdown, Jags. Into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. Jags get a win on the road. They stay perfect for the season. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one.